Hi, I'm Richard Miller, voice of the Jacksonville Giants. Welcome to tonight's sponsorship dinner at City Hall Pub. We're very glad y'all can make it this evening. Thanks to the law offices of Ron Scholes, Eastport Apartments, Dr. Trantham, Sinorama, Zellner Insurance, and Absolute Medical Clinic for getting us through a successful second season and closing with an ABA National Championship. We'll run through a number of highlights, including Christian Leitner, a buzzer beater, 200-point games, and the championship parade with Jacksonville Mayor Alvin Brown. Sit down, relax, and be wowed by our ABA National Champion, Jacksonville Giants. NBA star and Olympic gold medalist Christian Leitner joined the team for season two. His Duke shot is considered one of the most significant shots in the history of the NCAA and has defined March Madness. Let's hear from Christian. Good morning. Thanks, Ron. I mean, if this is the Giants, this needs to be raised up. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, I'm happy to join the Giants for uh, for their second season. Um, I'll make a few statements so maybe you don't have to a ask the same questions over and over, but it was an easy decision for me. I've lived here in Jacksonville for eight years. I love the city, I love the community. I got to know Joe Miller first, uh, Ron Scholl second, and I love their vision. I love how creative they are. I love the ideas that they're bringing to our city, to our community. So it was very easy for me to agree to join the team and play for them this year. Uh Thanks, Christian, for the time you spent with us this season. While we're on the topic of players, let's meet some of your other national champion, Jacksonville Giants. Hey, um, number five, Sherrod Harris, point guard, 5'10". Anthony Jackson, 5'10", Chicago, Illinois. Anthony Lumpkin, point guard, six foot. Pittsburgh, Mississippi. Go Giants. My name is Jermaine Bell. I'm from Rochester, New York, seventh foot, and I'm standing for the Jacksonville Giants. Bernardo Norman, South Carolina, shooting guard, Jacksonville Giants. Lamar Center, 6'7", power court, Jacksonville Giants. Deion Smith, 6'10", Chicago, Illinois. Being where 6'8", small fort, Kentucky State. Kevin McDonald, 6'8", point guard. Antonio, Mr. 200, Lawrence, 6'6", six, six, guard, Jacksonville, Florida. I love y'all. <laughs> Harry Todd, 6'5", shooting guard for Jacksonville Giants. I'm from Bahia, Mississippi. Emmanuel Jackson, 6'9", uh, um, power forward slash center from Atlanta, Georgia. Matthew Fields, hails from Jacksonville, Florida. I'm 6'7", small forward, power forward. Uh, I'm in the All-Star game this year also. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Um, hopefully we're not playing in it because we'll be in the Final Four, but, you know, it's going to be a good experience. <laughs> To our sponsors and business partners, the Giants would like to say just how much we appreciate your support. Season three, we plan to increase our sponsorship team and provide an even greater experience to you, our sponsors. As you recall in season one, the Giants were undefeated at home with 23 wins and zero losses. When the team traveled to Texas for the ABA Final Four, it was disappointed by back-to-back -back losses to the Flash. Thank you again to Giants partner Active Nightlife for providing the highlight clips. In case you missed the buzzer beater in the final three seconds of game one, let's watch it right now. Yes, that was quite a finish and one heck of a way to tip off Season 2. I think we all felt that Season 2 was going to be something special after that victory. Definitely it was a little redemption for Giants head coach Kevin Waters, the Jacksonville Giants fans, and players. Not only did the Giants win that game against the Flash, but the team also beat the Flash at home and again in the ABA playoffs. 
Well, the second game of Season 2, things did not go well. The Giants traveled to Atlanta, Georgia, where they faced the Atlanta Experience. The Experience were prepared and delivered the Giants its very first regular season loss. In a rematch with the Atlanta Experience, the Giants came out on top. Coach Waters proved once again that he could motivate the Giants to bounce back after defeat. Tell them throw them red Cincinnati hats in the sky. Rep the five till I die. Red laces sending out of them Air Max 95s. I walk on the moon, flow hotter than you. In case you have not heard, team owner Ron Scholes is a 10-year military veteran. In addition, he proudly served in the Gulf War. He understands the sacrifice of service members and their families. For this reason, in Season 3, Ron Scholes and the Jacksonville Giants have committed to offer every member of the military and their family free admission to every home game. This is the third year that the Giants have honored military families. In January, the Giants traveled to beautiful Myrtle Beach to face a brand new ABA team, the South Carolina Warriors. Armed with former NBA players and a seasoned, experienced head coach, they sent the Giants home with another loss. The Giants faced the South Carolina Warriors again, but this time it was at home in Jacksonville. This game ended as another nail biter. The Giants scored 20 points late in the game and nearly won again, but the Warriors again came out on top. Even though the Giants were not undefeated in season two, they finished with a 23-3 record and defeated the two toughest teams, the Gulf Coast Flash twice and the Atlanta Experience once. The national championship was played closer to home this year in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Giants first played number three ranked San Diego Soul. After two tough matches which ended in Giants wins, Jacksonville advanced to the national championship. Their opponent in the national championship would turn out to be no other than the undefeated South Carolina Warriors. The Warriors had racked up a total of 31 straight victories. Game one of the national championship was another close one, but the Giants defeated the Warriors in overtime. They had discovered a crack in the Warriors' armor. By game two, head coach Waters had the team believing that they were national champions. He suggested that the team give the Warriors a knockout punch and send them home, and that is exactly what they did. The Warriors were only able to score 91 points in Game 2. The Giants returned home to a hero's welcome. Mayor Alvin Brown read a proclamation making the day of the National Championship Parade, Jacksonville Giants Day. This national championship would not have been possible without each and every one of our sponsors, the dedication of the coaches, players, staff, and fans. Well, that's a wrap. And as many as you know, teams just can't make it without partnerships. Your financial support and backing is paramount to continued success. Season three, the Giants are committed to winning another national championship. Increasing the number of competitive games at the arena, working closely with local schools while increasing the amount of community involvement. Pro basketball is here to stay, and we are glad you've decided to be a part of it. Until next year, I'm Richard Miller, the voice of the Jacksonville Giants. We are Giants.